the only one I am super ninja, as you can see from the initials right here. I'm a little bit hyper for some reason, probably because I have done nothing, because I don't have anyone over to make help me make videos. Anyway, this is probably the only area that I'm actually gonna be loud. So yeah, this is a really you're gonna be seeing this area for a while now. Anyway. I'm gonna show you how to make this mask. As you can see, it's pretty cool. Well, in my opinion, if it's your opinion, you probably don't think so, because it's all... I don't know. Anyway, it takes around two to three days to make. All the materials needed is paper mache, water... Oh wait, no, all you need is like water, flour, glue, paint, and uh, optional is glit gloss or satin or matte finishing actually i recommend those a lot because they really help make the mask look a lot better and it's waterproof and also it's a lot stronger so yeah i'm going to show you how to make these and um, they do take a lot of time to do because of the drying unless you have a hair dryer but they're really simple to do as long as you don't screw up any parts you can make like a serial killer mask kind of like this one as you can see it's got uh, designs on it you don't really need to get explanation on that and something like this it's pretty much I don't know some angry guy and I'll probably be using a lot of these in my videos too so I'm gonna show you how to make these and let's go back or let's go in to my room Alright, so now that we're in my amazingly clean room. See those are masks, masks I made. And that's just... That's my roommate. So, I didn't actually see all the ingredients. The most important thing I forgot was paper. So what you actually have to get is tin foil. And you're gonna make a... Um, thing, what do you call it? face mold or a face cast of your face paper mache you can come with any ingredient you want i use flour glue water and salt salt is great if you don't want mold you could use some strings or what i use those rubber bands this is just nylon string you can easily melt it with fire some paint that's there are acrylic like I got this metallic one and you could use out glue also I also have some paper towels paper towels are good for outlining or just using the last layer and they do they you can fold them and crunch them up into facial features and we first start off by dipping ripped up ripped up pieces of printer paper or newspaper if if newspaper were there for you you can also do that uh, you just grab some printer paper and as you can see i try to make a fit a mask out of paper that's why there's holes in it don't ask why just rip it up like like you're so rip that was so bad all right just rip it just rip it up into like all types of sizes I recommend using these two sheets of printer paper if you have newspaper then just whatever I don't really I don't know how to measure it but at least quite a bit of newspaper would work so I'm using at least three sheets of printer paper for this. And also large paintbrushes will work good too. Oh yeah, and I'm also using Mod Podge for its gloss finish. You can also use spray spray varnish. That would work a lot better. I just have that because I don't have any spray. And I'll go back to you 
once I have all my sheets ripped up. Alright, so I have all my sheets all ripped up. And now we're going to be using this paper mache. This is really old though. I, it's been sitting on my desk for like a few days now. So I'm not going to be surprised if I get some kind of disease or something. I bet I'm going to get like tetanus or hepatitis 3. So just dip it in. Yeah, I need some water. Hold on, I'll be back real quick. Alright, so I got some water in it. I actually used, I found this cup sitting on my desk, so I decided to pour water into it. And now it's all nice and soupy. It's actually a little bit too, it's a little bit too watery. But that'll be fine. I don't really have too much time to worry about. So just, you know, if you, if, I'm pretty sure you know how to do this stuff. You just take paper and then just stack it on there. Now I'm using a very, very thin sheet of aluminum, so this is going to be a little bit difficult, and I'm going to have to really layer it on gently, or else I'm going to screw it up, and, and it's not even going to fit my face. Alright, so you can already see that I'm covering the whole face up pretty nicely. Um, you could face cast your own face, but I don't know why you would do that. It's disgusting, and you would look like... And you would probably get face acne from all this paper mache blocking your pores. Then you'll probably die in like a few hours. I mean, I'm, I, already, I'm, I already have like a three years life expectancy, but... That doesn't matter right now, I still have a long ways to go. Touch the pause button. I love how I plan things out. Look at this mess. Oh boy. So I'll come back to you all once that is whole entirely covered. Yay, that'll be in like five hours once I clean all this up. Okay, so I completed paper mache my entire aluminum foil face cast. And this is what it should look like, a little breathing hole so you don't suffocate and die and then you'll be buried in some unwanted place. But, as you can see, it looks completely beautiful. I put as much time as I did as NASA does on the rocket ships. And it is like, beauty. Actually, no, this is probably the worst. It's not even as comfortable as this. I actually put some more fine work into this one but yeah and now we're gonna let that sit and dry for at least 24 hours if you have a hair dryer that'd be a lot better so I'm gonna come back to you guys once this is all dry okay so the mask has finally dried off it's nice and hard so now I'm gonna dry out the eye holes Just measuring it real quick. Alright, so my eyes are like right here. Just a rough sketch. And cut that out. make it perfect or not but I just made it rough just for video example 
put on your face if it feels comfortable and you can see through it then that's then you're okay with that then you'll move on to the next step which is dipping paper towel strands I already had these prepared into glue water this is just a 50% glue into 50% water half and half so it's nice and watery and you're just gonna dunk it in until it's all nice and submerged and it should be nice and damp and workable so you can now work on the facial features I have a whole list of what I should do uh, I'm gonna make one with glowing eyes and with glowing a dark paint So I'm just going to draw what the eyes should look like. And maybe have like one with no mouth at all. Okay, so I'm going to cover this thing with facial features. It's really simple to do. I don't really think you need explanation. explanation. So I'll just show you real quick. You just grab it, the wet paper towels, and just apply it. And since it has glue on it, it should stick pretty easily. And plus you're going to add another layer of paper towel on it, so it's going to stick on better. I'll do this in time lapse so you can see how I layer these on. So here we go. Okay, so I got all the face, facial textures and stuff, and this is what it's going to look like. Now, next step is to cut up stri strips of paper towels like this, like if it's smaller. And you're going to carefully lay it. It's best to use a paintbrush, so that's what I'm going to do. If you don't have one, then you can use your hands. That's what I've done before. In fact, this is my first time using paintbrushes on this, so it's going to be a little bit different for me. But you pretty much just layer on the paper towels as if it was skin, and these are muscles. And attach glue on them. And yeah. That's pretty much how you add the last layer of paper towels for this mask. And you really want to make sure that it completely has no air pockets and it doesn't really deform the face too much. But make sure you kind of push down really hard on it so all the features on the face could pop up and they wouldn't look so bad.
Okay, so I had the whole entire piece covered. So now we're just gonna let this dry. And that's what it should look like. Once it's dry, you can also paper towel mache the back side too. Just to make it a little bit stronger. But yeah, now I'm gonna move on to the next step. Okay, so while that's drying, I'm not really gonna use that. I'm a little bit impatient, so I'm gonna have one that I've already paint or I've already finished and it's all dry with paper towels on it. I didn't use the paintbrush, I highly recommend the paintbrush after using it. It's a really nice thingy thing to have and yeah, I recommend using the paintbrushes. You can get quite a bit for cheap money, for cheap amount of money. Um, I just got four of these, the red ones, for only like $2.99. So what we're gonna do now, uh, first let me, I'm gonna first work on the back side real quick. But you just pretty much do the same thing as the front side, you just put towel paper mache thingy on the inside. So I'm gonna do that real quick. You probably don't need any tutorial on this. I'm pretty sure you can all naturally do this with your natural instincts. But I'll come back to you once I have all this all nice and paper towel. Okay, so I've finished uh, paper toweling the whole back part. Uh, one thing I did forget to tell you is that once it's all the way dry, you can see that there's a bunch of corners sticking out. See, so you so once it's all dry, you're, you're gonna have to snip those off with scissors. And I'm also gonna have to snip this part with scissors once it's whole entirely dry. But I'm gonna show you what you're supposed to do once it's you know the front part is not that wet, so I'm gonna start paint brushing. And this is this is probably the funnest part of the whole thing. Even though it does get a little bit tedious when you're first starting off. Anyway, I was, I was looking at how much I have and how much Mod Podge I have left. So, I have all of these paints. I don't really need to tell you that. And I'm pretty sure you probably know how to do this part. Okay, so I finished painting the entire face of it. I didn't have any footage because I realized that on a time-lapse app, I only went three seconds for each video. So, um, kind of screw that part up. But I'm not probably going to do another video on painting these, because painting is like a whole new different subject. But, uh... This is a finished product. I didn't really put too much effort into it. That's why it kind of looks a little bit sloppy. So you're pretty much done with the entire face. You don't have to do any more adding. The only thing you do have to add though is some kind of protection or sealer. And the straps to put on your face. So yeah. So most of the face has dried. The back part is still a little damp, but it's still dry enough so I could attach or apply the Mod Podge or sealer to it. And this part is self-explanatory. You don't need a special painting tip for this. You just grab a large paintbrush and just dip it in. The Mod Podge, or unless you have a spray, spray varnish, then you just spray it on. And it's as simple as that. Once the entire mask is covered, you let it dry, and then you poke holes right where above the eye hole, or right above it, just there. That's where the top of your ear is, and just put a string rubber band, like I said, and you're pretty much done. I also apply a sealer to the back part of it just so it's a little bit more durable. What I did, what I used to make the holes was just a X-Acto knife. 
you just twist it until it, a hole appears. And then just tie around this string of nylon. And you could use whatever knot you want. I just used simple knot. And as you can see, it does a pretty good job on holding up. And you can see I also put the Mod Podge on the back of the mask. That's why it looks shiny. And that's how you make one of the masks. So, I hope you enjoyed, and bye. Okay, so before I end the video, I just wanted to tell you this is my way of making a mask. There are a bunch of different ways of making this. This is just my own way. You could come up with your own. And I'm just making this video just to give you like an inspiration or maybe you're interested in making a mask. And just showing you how easy it is to do it. So, you know, come up with your own ways and I hope you have fun making the masks or not. Bye bye. Yeah.